everyone and happy Wednesday. It is time to get out those cute critter stamp sets. Today's card challenge is Fall Critters. My name is Christina Reese and this is Creating with Christina. I come live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday here on my Facebook page at 9 a.m. Central Time. And on Wednesdays, I bring a card challenge to you that you can enter on the Facebook page. There's a post for you to enter your card for the card challenge. And today's challenge, like I said, is Fall Critters. So, um, let me see. Uh, I'm going to be showing you a card I made with the stamp set Rustic Retreat. Let me show that to you. There it is. Isn't that cool? So there's a bear and a buck. Is it an eight point buck? It's a one, two, it's a ten point buck. Wow, that's a prize. <laughs> Any of these, those of you who are deer hunters. Hey, good morning, Kim. How are you? All right, so um, let's do this card challenge. Like I said, this is fall critters. Doesn't matter what sentiment you use. You can, you know, be a thank you card, can be a birthday card, doesn't matter. As long as you focus on a fall critter. And with that, let me switch my camera over. One more thing, my host code for this month, I apologize, the last two Facebook Lives, I had the wrong code up here. But those people who tried to use it and it wouldn't work, they contacted me and I gave them the correct code. But this is the correct code for October. And when you purchase $50 or more in my shop, I'm giving you a free harvest card kit and a entire spool, 10 yards of uh, the uh, twine, the, the, linen tr the linen thread trim, or not thread, it's linen trim, it's thicker than thread. Anyways, um, so that is that deal. Also, it is Wednesday, so I see a couple of you here. Hey, good morning, Jennifer from Southwest Michigan. Very nice to have you here this morning. I don't see very many of you on here, but those of you who entered the contest last week, I have your names up on, I know you can't see it very well. I'll switch back over to that view. Um, over here on my computer, and I am going to hit the spin button here and find our winner. Playing from desktop, 9i3j. All right, Debbie Kelly is the winner. Awesome. So Debbie, if you don't see this um, actual Facebook Live, I will be sending you a private message on Facebook Messenger because I'll need your mailing address to send you your stamp set. And this is the stamp set that you'll be winning. It is called Birthday Delivery and it does have a die uh, set with it so and it is a previously loved stamp set so some of the stamps are a little stained but they all work perfectly good they're great stamps okay let's go back to to this week's card okay this week's card we're going to need a card base and my card base is 11 by four and a quarter then you will need a layer to cover the entire front. So your layer needs to be five and a half by four and a quarter. And I'm using a wood grain uh, designer paper here. And you, if you don't have any wood grain, it's in our good, oh, I meant to write this down. Good taste, in good taste uh, paper pack. So that's where I got the wood grain from. Then our uh, beautiful autumn, our autumn, paper and it's got that gorgeous metallic embossing on there and I cut this out I used a lot of dies on this card this is the stitched layered rectangles so let me pull that up so you can see the stitching see the stitching on the edge there that's pretty cool all right next you're going to need a metallic paper and this time I use the stitch shapes so it's the stitch shapes here and we're going to put that there and then finally you will need a strip of metallic paper for the sentiment and a scrap piece of white to stamp our fall critter on. So we're going to do that. All right. So those are the supplies you need to create this card. Also, um, because we're stamping on a metallic surface, 
you want to use the ink stays on okay here it is turn it around stays on this is a solvent based ink or an alcohol based ink and it will adhere to a very non-porous surface so you can use this ink for like glass plastic and in our case a metallic um, a metallic surface and let's see and I'm gonna go ahead and use the stays on with my deer also I am using the deer from the rustic retreat and I'm gonna use watercolor pencils today so I haven't used watercolor pencils in a while Here's my watercolor pencils and the reason uh, so stays on ink is um, solvent alcohol based so I'm gonna color with a water base well good morning Tammy yes congratulations to our winner our winner Debbie Kelly and Nancy good morning all right um, let me pick other colors here we want some browns I thought I had another brown here's another brown okay so I have a couple of browns and green for the grass all right I think that'll work okay let's do some stamping all right our deer our stays on ink also when you are using stays on ink on your stamps be sure to have your cleaning pad ready you can get this ink off if you will go ahead and clean it right away. All right, pretty much. I mean, it's still a little bit stained, but, and I was using water, and water and alcohol don't mix. If you use an actual solvent cleanser on your stamp, that would work better, but I'm, I'm good with just a little bit of uh, water. Oh, I kind of got a little smudge there. Oh, well. No, oh, I don't like that. Let's do it again. Good morning, Debbie. Oh, I've got messes all over this scrap paper. Hold on, let me get an eraser. You all always want to keep some kind of eraser on hand. This is a sand eraser. Uh, mono, Tombow, mono sand eraser. And just, it just kind of, well. It's still pretty yucky. It's not that good. That's a problem with black on white. <laughs> it's, we're gonna have to say good enough though because I'm not gonna mess with getting another, um, another scrap out. So let me try this again. Okay, and I'm gonna try to stamp where that ink was. All right, there we go. Yes, okay. All right, and put that away and color this. Now, if you've not seen watercolor pencils, these are so much fun. Uh, you can add water to them and they will paint just like water, or you can use um, a, uh, oh, what am I trying to say, a blender pen. Um, and I'll show you that blender pen here in just a minute. I'm going to go through with this very light brown. It's actually Cajun Craze. Oh, I don't want to get the the white of his chest, the white tail, white buck deer, the white tail deer, yeah, white tail deer, um, has that white chest right there. And just, I'm just quickly coloring him. I'm not really being real careful because this is the magic. Oops, sorry. Oh no, where are my blender pens? There they are. Okay, this is a blender pen and. Uh, it's just the coolest thing. So, oh, let me pull it up here close so you can see it. So you can see how I just kind of scribbled on there. Now, I use the blender pen and it just, it like turns it into watercolor. It's the coolest thing. So if you haven't seen our watercolor pencils, yeah, you're getting to see them now. They're so fun. They're very popular. I do like my blends. But occasionally I'll get out my watercolor. All right, and now pull it up. And all the scribbling is gone. Cool, huh? <laughs> all right, now I'm going to come in with the darker brown. I'm going to do his antlers. And 
Okay, and those little hooves. There we go. And use my blender pen again. The hooves don't need very much, they're so little. But the antlers definitely need some blending. It was hard to get that pencil in those teeny tiny little places. And if you're having trouble, um, whoops, that's the green. Lordy have mercy. You can just take the blender on the tip there. There we go. Okay, I'm not the best at coloring that tiny of a thing, but there's his little antlers and his little hooves. All right, and then the green for the grass. So I'm just coming in here and I'm just pretty much just rubbing some green ink in here, a green brush in there. And now I am just flicking my pen up to kind of create grass. So it's not perfect, but it, it looks good. All right, there we go. So there's the grass. So there's our little deer. And now we are going to cut it out with the oval to fit in the stitched oval that we have. So I'm gonna grab my cutter. There we go. See, has anyone else joined us this morning? No, nope, not yet. So here we have our little deer now, and we're just going to put that right there on that stitch shape. Yay! It's pretty. All right, I'm need my tape. Okay, and then let's just go ahead and tape this on here. this on here All right. it's hard to see white on white I thought so there we go well shoot kind of messed up right there. That's all right. I'm having a fun morning <laughs> making mistakes. Okay, now we're going to put our deer here and we're going to put our sentiment here. So once again, we have our sentiment and we're going to use the stays on ink again. Hey, Lynn, how are you from West Virginia? <laughs> a beautiful day in West Virginia here too in Texas. All right. Happy birthday. Excuse my head for getting in the way. Now, as you can see, I've already clipped one end of my strip there because I wanted uh, to know where to put the happy birthday when I snipped it with the um, with this punch here. And I know this punch makes an eighth of an inch out here, so I'm going to want to go. I'm going to want to trim it. About right there. Okay, and then I just stick it in here just like that. And punch and bring it back out, and voila! Cool, huh? But yeah, you'll need uh, an alcohol base to be able to stamp on uh, a metallic paper, or the, the water based ink just smears everywhere. All right, we're almost done. We're almost done here. Okay, we have. That and that. All right, we want dimensionals. Definitely need dimensionals. Let's 
So your uh, card challenge is to use fall critters to make any kind of card you need. Um, in my case, I needed a birthday card, so I made a fall birthday card. And I'm centering him. Uh, I've come over the edge. See how I've come over the edge there? And I'm at the bottom part of my card. I'm going to put the sentiment here, but I'm going to tie some twine up here to balance it out. go and where is my thread oops come here okay enough to tie the bow and then go around a couple times and here we go And when you're tying string bows like this, if you feel like you need an extra hand to hold it, just get a pair of clamping tweezers. And remember to hold the loop as you pull the ends back through or they will twist. Okay, and tighten it up. And voila! we have a fall critter birthday card in this case, but yours does not have to be a birthday card. Yours can be anything. So um, go out, create a fall critter card today and <laughs> enter it on the Facebook page. I've already created the post and I've pinned it to the top. So, and it says uh, fall critter card challenge up there and we'll see who wins. What prize do I have for next week? This prize, here we go, now you can see it. We have Genuine Gems. So this is a stamp set full of sentiments. Nothing else to say but, and it could be, so sorry, I love you. Um, nothing to say but, I just didn't know what to say. You know, it, so many things. It's just, it's so cool. I told the universe to send some awesome your way. <laughs> That's, I love that one. So this is the prize for next week's card prize. And Debbie Kelly won this week, and I will be contacting you, Debbie, here in just a minute. All right. You all have a wonderful Wednesday. I am heading off to see my mom and dad. They're both doing well. Mom's hip is healing, and Daddy's birthday is tomorrow. He's going to be 86, so that's exciting, too. All right. Bye-bye, <laughs> you guys.